Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. I've had lots of requests on doing a quick video on basically starting a compu show, show from scratch. So here's the story. There is a local country nightclub called Boots and Buckles. Pretty large. They have Craig Morgan coming out and he's going to perform and all that. Now their system, they have three universes. One for the dance floor, one for the intimidators, one for the bars. And the reason they keep things separate is just because that's how the lighting programmer had it. Nothing wrong with it, except that they have three different My DMX dongles. Now that kind of works out for them because then they're able to control different scenes and everything independently. However, when they have the concerts, they also have the, I believe they're the 600s, the Max 600s. So they have another universe for that as well. And that's been very hectic and crazy for them as far as trying to get everything in one shot. So what we're going to do is, they want for this concert to just really do some really cool and special stuff with the lighting. They want things to look amazing, they want, you know, just a really nice overall clean layout of the show to the music. So I'm going to be bringing Compu Show out for that. And one of the great things is that I'm not going to have to bring three individual boxes. I'm going to be using the new Compu Show SDE that has three physical universes coming out of it. Now that's going to allow me to kind of patch some of these lights together. I mean, I can still keep everything in three universes separately, so I can just have it the exact same way they had it in, or I can combine a couple of universes together, especially since they have four. But it's not a big deal because um, things are super easy to program in the show. So first, what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at my DMX, right? And one of the great things about my DMX is that it's very easy to switch from show to show, just like Compu Show. I'm able to, for example, take the Intimidators and Bar, which is basically the Shava Intimidators they have, and they just have some generic Par 64s. And I see the entire show over here. Their next one is called Dance Floor, which is just a dance floor lighting. And basically what I'm seeing at is that the um, Intimidators and the bar or dance floor lighting is pretty much on the same thing. So what they did is, I guess they have the Intimidators on one, they have, I know for a fact they have the Intimidators on one circuit and the bar on one circuit, one universe, and then the bar lighting is on another universe right here from channel 45 all the way to channel 176 is on this dance floor universe. So I'm going to combine both universes together because it's obviously all in one program. Now the way that I'm going to do that is instead of, you know, I could easily just go up there and connect two of the lights together. I don't have time to do that. So I'm going to use my Y flex and I'm going to literally use my Y flex as a splitter or I can use a D6 branch and split the uh, out from one universe into those two individual strands. So there's quite a few different ways to do it. And then the other one that I see here is the stage. And the stage has just basically a bunch of uh, LED pars. And they've got something here that it's called a door chart. No idea what that is, but we'll definitely figure that out. So basically that's gonna be DMX Universe 2. Now this is a very important one because this is where the performer is going to be. And then the third universe is going to be for the Max 600s. Or again, I could just get another splitter, put the Max 600s here or, you know, whichever. But either way, we're just gonna keep it simple like that. So first we're gonna start with the Intimidators, right? Or the overall, we're gonna call it Dance Floor Show because this covers the dance floor and the bar. So we're gonna just call this main, house, whatever. It doesn't really matter. DMX Universe 1. So what I see here is that we have the Intimidators and we have one, two, three, four of them and they're in 11 channel mode. Now, the best way for me to literally do this is I can just take you know my fixture profile and put, it in, put them in little folders and then import them into CompuShow because you can actually take the individual fixture profiles for these because like for example these PAR 64s are custom profiles. Instead of making them from scratch, I can import them into CompuShow which makes things super easy. So let's go ahead and start first with the Intimidators. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Page and we're going to click on New Page. Now, a new page basically means a new fixture. We are going to go to the Chave page, or Chave folder, and we're gonna go scroll all the way down to the Intimidator LED, or Intimidator Spot is what it's called, I'm sorry. 
And whether it's LED or 250, I see here that it's 11 channels regard. Oops, that's not the wrong right one. So let's see here. That's not it. Intimidate or sport, you gotta love that name. Okay, that's 14 channels. Ah, there we go. That's the right one. That's right, because yeah, it's spot LED. I see 150. I even pay attention to that. So there we go. And of course, you have two individual modes, not modes or channel modes. At six channel, mode one is 11 channel. Just to confirm, I'm just going to check over here on the other side with my DMX, and yes, these all line up. So we're going to go to import them, and I'm going to tell that one on universe one. And we're going to call on the first DMX channel, and we're going to have four individual fixtures. We're going to patch it, and pretty much that matches up exactly to my DMX. Then we're going to go through all the different options here. No, I don't need to enable pan tilt limiting. I do want my switches created. And switches are basically, imagine, just pre-programs or overrider programs. Now, right away, I can use the intimidators at the show. I can pick the gobo, and it shows me the gobo here. I can pick the pattern. I can, you know, choose the speed or the phasing, whatever I'd like to do with that, of course. Oops. Ah, there we go. Move this keyboard out of the way. There we go. So I can pick the phasing, dimmer, the speed of each individual option. I can pick the color, color rotation, sound active modes. I can even grab individual ones if I want. So if I want to create like a little spotlight for the singer, I'm going to be able to do that. And I think I probably will. So what I'm going to do is the easiest way is for now, I'm just going to create a show that basically says spot and then I'll define them to hit the singer by, uh, with palettes. So, but that can wait till later on. Okay, so next we already have the dance floor lighting. I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of skip step because I'm not going to show you the little things. I'm sure you can kind of figure out how to import stuff. But right, now we're going to go ahead and go and import the Martin. Let's see, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. My goodness, there's a lot of lights here. Martin, max 600. Okay, so we're going to go to jump to universe 3. And we're going to leave the max by themselves because I don't want to modify the channels or anything because the club already has the permanent install. So I'm going to put them on the universe all on their own. And we're just going to go ahead and have it on DMX channel 1. And I know they have four fixtures. We're going to go ahead and do the usual. And there you'll see the max 600 right here. I can even select my colors and all that fun stuff there. If I want to combine them with the intimidators, I can do that just by putting one on top of the other. So I can switch back and forth there. Now, here's something interesting. Let's say that I get there and I forgot that maybe the Mac started at a different channel. I can just go to my patch. Whoops. Ah. Max, let's do that. There we go. So we go to settings, we go to patch, we click on the little fixture there. And I can readdress them if need be. And if I made any programs for them, of course, they'll automatically readdress themselves. But pretty simple. If you have something overlapping, you'll see the X is there. That's just CompuShow's way of telling you, don't overlap. So we just click on OK. And of course, it repatches things if need be. So we have that now to do the bar lights and then the staging. I'm going to put the actual stage lights on our second universe channel. So this is going to be all for the dance floor, which they're probably not going to use a lot of that because they want all, obviously all the tension on the stage. So we may do like a nice little soft blue. We'll probably use the intimidators to uh, spotlight the stage as well. DMX universe two will be for the actual staging. And then DMX universe three are going to be for the max 600s. Again, so far so easy. And what's great is, you know, that if I was actually at the club, if I just by knowing the DMX values, I can quickly punch everything in and start running the show right away with zero DMX programming. And that's essentially what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'll make I'm gonna make some like pre-spots and stuff, but all the colors and everything are gonna be run pretty much live. As I continue working on these, I have a couple options because now it's time to import the stage. Now, 
I can import, if you look over here, the staging. There are some for the sign, the actual boots and buckles sign. There are some that lights up the performer. There's some that lights up the sides. So I can import each one as individual pages. And then if I want to make programs for all of them, I can do so in the master. I can import everything because they all share very some, uh, pretty much the same DMX addresses. So I can import them all one and overwrite it. And then if I want to take down the sign, I can do that. So let me give you an example. Let's pretend here that let me get, so let's say, for example, that this is, you know, the stage area here. And we have these, which are going to be the, uh, let's say, stage. And let's say over here, you know, we're going to grab, actually, you know what, let's, let's just hypothetically. Let's say that we grab the first four, which are the signs, right? So that's for the signs right there. And now let's say that I have, I'm making a show here and I'm, I'm not going to click around uh, the other side, but I'm sure you can imagine when I turn on the shutter, the dimmer, and I have everything all nice and yellow or pink or whatever color I choose, okay? Let's say, you know, we have them doing this as well, okay? Maybe I want the sign not to light up in that color. So what I would do is I would literally hit the record button grab them and then I just hit the dimmer and the color mix and I can actually just control those okay so now you'll notice everything else is changing except for that now over here you'll see there's a tiny little sign right there like a little action sign Basically, that means embedded inside the button, which is exactly what I just did there. Okay. Everything else pretty much looks identical of what I just showed you. And of course, as I grab that, it moves that. Now, if I want to add more, I can click on these little plus. Or let's say plus. And I grab those two and those. And now I can grab more lighting fixtures like that. Of course, I can remove them by doing the same. I can let go by hitting the record. Oh, sorry, I meant to be automatic. I can let go by hitting the record button. And once I let go of the record button, it's no longer, you know, gonna kind of grab that if that makes sense, okay? I can initialize everything just like normal and again if I turn the buttons that have the embedded inside a button it turns that on. So that means that I would probably make different, I wouldn't use these master switches here, I would probably wind up making my own individual scenes just for the sign. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do there. If I want to erase everything of course then I can click the reset or the X or whatnot. This allows me to import all the lights as one and or as one, you know, page and then I can grab whatever I want and kind of channel it individually. That's going to make things a little bit easier for the programming. So let's kind of keep going from there. So I have most of it done. The rest that I'm actually I'm actually going to do at the bar itself because I want to see where everything lays out and I can label things properly would make it a heck of a lot easier. But I can just pretty much get ready now, plug in the show and get ready to go. After that, I'm going to map everything over to Minicon. It's gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna basically map the speed of the uh, fixtures as far as the individual program chosen, the strobing, and of course, I'm gonna have where I can select the different pages from there. So for example, if you look at my Minicon over here, If you look at the Medicon over here, I'm going to have where this one selects like the Max 600s, this will select the moving heads, this will select different floods and I'll be able to control different things with them and I'll be able to turn on the sign, I'll be able to turn on the staging, dance area, uh, different musicians and then the, they have different lights that we're going to have uh, the four moving heads going to each different like musician, lead guitarist, bassist, drummer. So we're going to so basically... So you may know that in some of the concerts there's the part where the artist will introduce you know himself 
and then he'll introduce his lead guitarist, then he'll introduce the bassist, then he'll introduce the drummer. So we can easily grab that, and of course I'll be able to do flash on for different strokes for different parts as well. So I'm looking forward to it. It should be real fun, last minute programming and just showing how powerful you can create a rig for you know even a concert without a lot of DMX programming ahead of time. So stay tuned, part two will be filmed at the actual venue as I'm programming. My name is Arnaldo Wofferman with Master School Dances. Thank you so much and God bless.